Hey guys, still here. Quick aside before the actual video begins, on the top left hand side of the screen you're going to see an 8 exclamation mark and then the road to 100k. Um, I'm trying to get 100k subscribers, I had this on during a recent stream and I forgot to turn it off while I was recording this video because I did that right after my stream on regiments. That means that it's still there, um, it's going to be there for the whole of the video, try to ignore it as much as possible. Yet, if you are not yet subscribed, I am trying to get to 100 subscribers, well, 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you're not subscribed yet, please help me get there and help me get that silver play button that I'm very interested in getting. Subscribe to the channel and we can get on with the rest of the video. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Taskmaster. We're back after a two-week hiatus. We took a bit of a break because uh, people were busy. We didn't really have time to think of tasks and, well, two weeks, off, two weeks off and here we are back again. And this challenge was posed by Taipan4567. The date is 1920 and Grand Admiral Jeremy Clarkson has a new idea to beat the French. After his last idea of catapulting cars across the channel failed and the French Navy again beat him. Speed and power over crappy steel plates. This time we will certainly defeat the French Navy. However, the frogs have the funds to operate one battleship, four heavy cruisers, two lights and six DDs. Our funds master, James May, is stuck in Italy and thus we can only build one battleship. The French must be defeated. You will build a 1920s battleship to defeat the French fleet. The enemy battleship has the Admiral of the French Navy, Admiral Richard Le Hamon, aboard. If you sink his ship, you will win immediately. Your ship must use only the biggest guns, main secondaries and torpedoes as possible. You must have as little armor as possible. You must be as fast as possible and your ship must be called the Diddly Squat. Your objective, either sink the enemy battleship or the whole fleet. And the fastest to complete this wins. So. Um, yes, we're going to be designing a glass cannon battleship. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? I need to have as much survivability as possible. Um, resistance is nice. And this is sadly the most that I can get. Okay. Okay. It must be the fastest possible. Yes, of course. Okay, no, this is this is fine. This is fine. Um, I'm not gonna like this. I'm not gonna like this. What do you mean? I cannot have more or less than nine armor. Okay, so the game is mandating that I must have at least 9 inches of main belt armor. Alright. The main belt is the part that covers the citadel. So if I make the citadel enormous, that means that the main belt covers most of the ship. That is still sticking within the parameters of the task, and you're going to have to fight me if you disagree. I'm going to take turtleback armor, because it's 15% resistance. Um, it'll probably be heavier, not by much, because I don't have any armor. Anti-flood might be a good idea. Uh, these, none of these count as armor. This is all... Um, or at least this is my interpretation of having as little armor as possible. She must be called the HMS Diddly Squat. Okay. Um... She must be as fast as possible. Doesn't say anything about the range, so I can adjust that. Nelson? Maybe? Like an unarmored Nelson? I must have the biggest guns possible, which means 16s. Mark 1. Oh no. Why did they have to be Mark 1? Give me a coincidence rangefinder. I like the base accuracy more than I like the long range accuracy. Well, actually. Well, accuracy. Oh! Wait! I have a battleship that goes 39 knots. All I need to do is snipe the enemy battleship. 
I need to make a Frenchie. I need to make something that runs away very well. Yes, it's all it's all obvious now. Yes, Sturious Copper Rangefinder. Some hydro, I don't care about your radio. Um, is it? I think officially if I use group one, I have less armor. Because my armor strength with group four is just way higher, but armor weight is less. So this is <laughs> I can tell you already, this is gonna be interpreted very different by all three of us. Brother Monroe is gonna have a different take on this, Spartan's gonna have a different take on this, and I'm gonna have a different take on this. So I'm gonna say I have as little armor as possible. So that would be group four. Because my armor weighs less. No. No, I cannot sell that. I'm gonna go with one. Okay, I have a really fast boy. If I make it really tiny. <laughs> if I make it really tiny, I might just be able to make my target profile so small that they can't see me. I'm gonna need 15 funnels. No, not even. Not even. What do you mean my pitch is bad? Go away. Sit, sit. Yes, 100% engine efficiency. Okay, so I have a lot of tonnage to put guns. And because I made this thing so sleek, I also have the capability of going very fast without needing a massive engine. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna be kiting away from the enemy. I think that's my best bet. Because I'm not even sure if the other guys are gonna survive this encounter. I'm not even sure I'm gonna survive this encounter. Snap out of it. Uh, side guns? Yeah, no, whatever, this is fine. I need to be pointing the ship directly towards the stern. I need to have the absolute biggest part of the stern facing the enemy or this will not work. Can I use a smaller barbette? This would be much better. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Come on. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Now, I only need to snipe the enemy battleship. That's all I gotta do. Easy. Right? What is your problem? What is your problem? Thank you. Alright, I think the capability of firing about 12 of these barrels sternwards is fine. Now, let's upgrade these guns. Um... I need accuracy. I need barrel length. They need to be the biggest guns possible. Fortunately, I have some experience. In case you don't know what I'm referring to, you're missing out. You're not watching the big guns campaign. Highly recommend that you do. A tall barbette. Hello, a tall barbette. Thank you. That's that's better. Okay, what are we going to be shooting out of these things? Because their reload is atrocious. Their reload's almost three minutes. We're definitely going to be firing the biggest HE shell we can. We're going to fire picric acid because that's more chance to burn. This is less flash fire chance. This is more shell pen. I like shell pen. No, can't have that. That's considered armor. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna make this thing smaller. To make sure I'm a smaller target profile. Go back, go back. Shit. Oh, go on. Get out. 
There. There. That's the 16 inch center line side mount. No, sorry, side mount, 16 inch triples. That. Chip is overweight. No, it's not. What are you talking about? Yeah. Here we go. Um, this is the diddly squat. It can go 39 knots. It cannot go very far. It can shoot 12 16 inch barrels at the back. Um, more likely to be nine. And I'm. How many shells am I carrying? Uh, 330 per turret. So I have about 1200 shells. That should be sufficient. Oh, what could possibly go wrong with this design? Oh shit. My guns are too heavily armored. Oh no. Now I still have displacement left? What? This is so unusual. Muzzle velocity for the HE is only 790? Wow. That's fairly terrible. I do want to have some secondaries. They have to be the biggest. This was ordered. So I guess eights. Eight, eight, eight. <laughs> what have I become? Okay. No, nope, side mount. Sometimes this game just seems to be about who can build the worst ship. Oh, this thing is not center lined. There we go. And I still have displacement? Wow. No armor. We're a race boat. Speed and power. Uh, put this here. Since I cannot balance the ship out with armor, I'm gonna have to balance the ship out with guns. Nobody said the guns had to be able to fire. What's the smallest caliber I can put in the tower? Here, five, maybe six? No, fives, as expected. Five, five. Anything like threes? No. Twos? Yes. <laughs> what? The funnel doesn't want to sit there anymore? I wouldn't want to sit there anymore either. I guess I cannot really blame it. Zero, 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 zero. If, 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 by some miracle, I'd be able to launch a torpedo from this thing. How far could I fling a torpedo? Oh, God. Electric and oxygen haven't been invented yet. So that'd be a standard torpedo. That'd be a <laughs> nine kilometer range. Yeah, no, that's a joke. I mean, the whole thing is armored, not at all. So, yeah. Oh, and I thought I'd built bad battleships before. I see nothing yet. We run balance boilers? We can? How about a smoke interference? 13%. Wow. That's actually pretty good. This is a tall funnel four. What? What? I removed the funnel and the whole tower gets unhappy? Oh, because those things were on the funnel. Gotcha. That would be 97. 100. Perfect. Sit. Done. Okay. The diddly squat. A battleship, displacing 37,000 tons, yet packing a lot of firepower, but completely unarmored. Let's go. Let's sink James Hammond before he outdoes us again. Here we go. Sink the battleship. The enemy is to the north. Does this diddly squat thing have a turning circle? Oh, it's actually not that bad. Oh, not that bad. Radar hasn't been invented yet, so we're going to have to go for a visual identification. It's 
French idiots are running into each other. Now, there is a bit of a problem. Um, I need to survive. That's point one. That's challenging. Um, point two. I need to do it in the fastest time possible. That's somewhat uncomfortable. You know exactly where I am, don't you? You're the AI. Of course you know exactly where I am. But you can't see me, so you can't shoot me, so you're gonna have to be patient. What on earth is this contraption? What the... The things that you guys make me design... I love it. Do more. If you got a crazy challenge, post it down below in the comment section. Post it down below. Seven and a half percent chance to hit. Where have you been all my life? I need to know how fast this guy is. They haven't seen me yet. Hold on, can I get a deck pen with HE now? <laughs> well, not bad. <laughs> Yes, we do more. We do more somewhere in the next three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 165 second reload. Lovely. Uh, the French appear to be a bit crispy, but otherwise fine. Ugh, this thing is not going to slow down. At all. Uh, we're 20 clicks out. It's fine. I need to turn my ass towards them. They still haven't seen me because I'm using this miniature battleship. And before you go, oh, no, that's not fair. Keep in mind, this is Admiral or Captain, I'm not sure about his rank, Jeremy Clarkson, right? I don't think he would pull any punches when it comes to beating Mr. Hammond. Missed. Try that again. Missed. HE only, my friend. We're not flinging anything else. Oh fuck, we're too fast. We're too fast! And it doesn't want to slow down. 22 6, 22 7, 22 8, 22 9, all reverse. Engines damaged, engines repaired. At least that's fast. What? No! Slow down faster. All back emergency. I think they're going to be more reasonable in a, I'm thinking, 30 knot margin, something like that. Where are you going? I didn't order you to turn. Thank you very much. Fuck, now I need to find the enemy again. Oh, got him. That was easy. Hello. 23 clicks out. Perfect. And that means we're currently enjoying a crew speed bonus. Very good. Now please tell me we're going to hit something and burn something. Yes, destroyed secondary gun. And we lost him again. Uh, all back emergency. I'm going to have to slow down to like 22, 23, 24 knots. Let this thing catch up. Because the diddly squat is just too fast. Come on, come get me, Hammond. Come get me. Smoke obstruction. Oh, fuck. I'm facing my own smoke. Oh, lovely. That's a 20% smoke obstruction debuff. That was the main gun. Yeah, we're gonna have to fire over our starboard side. Means I cannot get all the guns to fire. So be it. Tell me what this French boy is doing. 22-3? I don't mind keeping at 22-3. I'm going to go a little faster. Half speed. 12% chance to hit. I'll take it. No, I don't need that stupid buff. Bug. Come on. Fight me. Just don't shoot me or I'll explode on impact. 
Hmm, that gun's looking really crispy. That gun is looking crispy. 62% ID. We have from a 20.5 kilometer range. 2.3. Point two. Come on. All the guns. Hit. Yes. 19.9. Mark .9. away ever so slightly. That means I'm potentially looking at my own smoke obstruction again. No, not right now. Okay, good. Very good. So we're going to fire over our starboard ass. <laughs> this is looking even more derpy. <laughs> and the guns are all coming up. Oh boy. Okay. Go again. Go again. Boom. Second. Partial. Yes. No. Range. 18.8. 18.7. Look, friend. I'm not a fan. I don't need you this close. Shoot. 17%. More like it. Concord. Condorcet. Okay. 64,000 tons? In 1920? What's wrong with you? 177 million. Ah, peanuts. Okay. Bulkheads. Standard. Crew. Cramped. You're already gonna start to see debuffs to your stats. Speed? 23 knots. And I get a target... <laughs> I get a target fast speed debuff. Because, of course... That definitely looks like a fast target to me. Still hasn't seen me, by the way. So, how am I going to win this? How am I going to win this? Do I kill the crew? Do I... Idiot French can't drive. Do I... Supposedly I cannot pen him with AP. I get that because I'm firing semi-armor piercing rounds. You know what? Fuck it. Fire semi-armor piercing. Let's see what it does. If it knocks out a tower, fantastic. This thing has two and a half inches of superstructure armor. Surely my SAP can bite through that. Even at range. Maybe especially at range. If it hits. That'd be wonderful. Range still 18.6. We're good. We're just not really going to hit anything. Turn. Do we have a smoke? I probably had a smoke penalty. Come on, I want to hit. No. Hit something. Seventeen six. How good is their crew? Trained. Ranging the guns. Thirty one kilometers. Oh shit! They see me. No. Four point three percent chance to hit. So you spot me around 17-2, And they lost me. 17-6, that's the margin. God, now we're way too fast again. <sighs> SAP, projectile speed 667 meters per second. Range 18. Still range finding? Why are we still range finding? We know 
the range. Come on, game. Work with me here. This is a tricky challenge as is. They spotted me again. Fire the HE. I don't really have faith in hitting anything with AP any- Oh! Oh no! No! There's something with guns! Run! I think the battleship's the only thing that can spot me. Please kill a main tower or something. Do something useful with your life. Oh, well, you still have it. That's debatable. Missed. Why did the first couple of salvos just harmlessly, no, usefully go in and now I'm not hitting anything? What? No, you didn't spot me. You lost me. Oh, boy, this is going to take a while. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to pause recording for... Um, <laughs> I was going to say a minute, but probably quite a while before something actually interesting happens. A good bit of maneuvering later, I actually managed to land one AP shell. And it promptly took out one of the main guns. Leading this battleship to only have one bow, 14... That uh, gives me a bit more confidence. And now I've close to about 16 kilometers. It gives me a little bit less confidence. But I'm still a fast target, so their accuracy is 3%. Problem is, normally I could tank a hit. Today, somewhat less so. So um, I think it's time that we're going to have to do a maneuver again. And just dodge. E no. Would have been so nice. So far, the French battleship is down to 76%, having lost one gun, having lost 11% of her crew. And if I'm playing this correctly, I'm not going to take a single point of damage. No, I've taken three from one 7-inch gun. Could be a light cruiser, could be a heavy cruiser. It's at this point, difficult to say. I'm still cruising around at full speed to maximize my own cruise speed bonus. 16%-ish. Don't scare me like that. Range 17-4. They lost sight. They lost sight. They spotted me. Speed? 22.8. Come on. Give me a full SAP salvo. Everything hit the target. Make it happen. thing hit me? Not really. Boom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Four belt pen. 1700 damage. <laughs> With semi-armor piercing. The fuck? Oh wow. <laughs> that was... Very different from what I was expecting. I need more like that. I got a 30% chance to hit. I'll take it. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again, missed. 900 meters. Do it again, do it again, do it again. E nope. Oh shit. Nope. Bye bye. I'll be going now. If you need me, I'll be closer than you think. Ooh, and what are you? You're a DD. With 5.5... No. Yes, you're a DD. 5.5 inch guns. Torpedoes extend to 9 clicks out. You're potentially quite deadly, but not right now. Wow. I didn't expect this battle to go quite this well. Well, there were chances to... You know what, I might actually be able to do that. Just wipe out that destroyer. Ten clicks out. Fuck that destroyer. This guy has damage and stability. 40%. He can't hit shit. Bring on the destroyer. Bring on... Yes. Exactly like that. Bring on the destroyer. Main guns on the Concorset. Condorcet? Condorcet. Oh, that looked like it could have hit. But it didn't. Oh, we're... What's your speed? 15 clicks. 
Shit, you can pen me whenever you feel like, right? With this destroyer gun. Yes. Holy crap, the only thing that's protecting me is the belt. Mm, you have a smoke screen at least. I can't even say that. 37 knots. Eight and a half. We need to get rid of these DDs. These little shits are getting in the way. They're forcing me away from their battleships, so they're doing their job. I don't like them doing their job. Stop doing reproductive activities. We're in the middle of a battle. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Now you're gonna get it. Now I have 8 inch, 4 bow, or no, bow guns. 8 inch bow guns. Let's bring it. 14, 14. Yes, yeah, good enough. Come on, land it. <laughs> Hit the same turret. Sometimes you really hit the same turret, so... Okay. Accuracy 20%. Gonna lose a bit because we're doing flank speed. 15, and we're doing a maneuver. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, parcel pen. You spotted me. Half a percent chance to hit. I play XCOM, I don't like half a percent chance to hit. I know that means I can die. No. No! I didn't know SAP could really do much at this angle, but I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. This thing just refuses to slow down. What else is shooting me? Ow. Damage the main gun. No. No. It's a British ship with no armor. These things have a tendency to explode violently. Their track record is not great. Hey, Hood? Sorry. Come on. E no. Lost sight of me, though. That's good. I have enough ammo. So far I've taken, what, three hits? Three hits. Not too bad. The ship has a lot of ammo left. Look at that. Thousands and thousands of rounds. Put the secondaries on that. They open up at 12 kilometer range. Oh, come on, hit him. No. No. There is definitely something else shooting me. Either a CA or a CL. A heavy cruiser or a light. Hello. Light cruiser. Fucker. Go away. I'm dealing with important battleship business. God, I'm rambling in this episode. Come on. Average all those splashes, you get the perfect salvo. Right now, it just doesn't do shit. Wait. How fast are these? Can I just ignore them and run around them? Oh. That's uncomfortable. Huh. Oh, shit. Destroyer. Come on. Punish this damn battleship. Thank you. Partial pen. Just do it with HE already. Because I don't really... Well, if it SAP, if it fully pens and explodes... Oh, shit. If it explodes inside the hull, it's going to do a ton of damage. If it does not, it's essentially going to harmlessly bounce off. Come on. Make something happen. Diddly squat. Your name's not... Not really. Oh! Damage this main... No, destroyed main gun. You cannot keep destroying the same main gun, though. What is dead may never die. Ow! Fuck! That was a 7-inch gun doing 300 damage. What the hell? Damage instability, 14%. 
No thanks. No! Come on. Hit. Hit. Now you're catching on. Oh no! What the fuck? Seven inch gun hit me and exploded. Damage dealt, CL, 7.9 thousand damage, fuck off. <laughs> one personal pen, one pen, and one ammo detonation. Boom, went the diddly squad. Ouch, <laughs> said Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> Speed and power, no armor. Problem, ship dead. I hope the other guys did better. It's a fun challenge, uh, you gotta... You gotta get creative with these challenges, and that's what I really like. You gotta improvise. If you guys have any challenges, by all means, let me know down below in the comments. And if you have any support, you can pledge that on Patreon. I'd be very grateful. Thank you for watching the vid. I hope you had a good laugh at all of my ramblings and this nonsensical design. And I'll see you soon for more videos.